video I'm going to show you how to work out the perimeter of a sector. So this is a sector, this part here in blue, is basically just a slice taken from a circle. So the perimeter, remember it's the distance around the outside of the shape. So it's basically just all of these sides added together. So we can see in this diagram that the radius of this sector, of what would be the circle, has been given to us here, it's 7. Which means this one over here is also 7. So we already know the length of two out of those three sides. It's this one here, the curved part, that's the tricky bit. So hopefully you already know how to work out the circumference of a circle and you know that the formula is C equals pi D. So circumference equals pi times diameter. If you don't, I do have another video with some examples of finding the circumference. So it might be a good idea to check that out first if you're not familiar with this. So I've just drawn here with these dotted points here what the circle would look like if it was a whole circle. And we are just working out just this little part of the circumference. So we need to work out what fraction of a circle this sector is. Well, Fortunately, we know the degrees are 36 here. So I'm going to write as a fraction this sector in terms of degrees. So it's 36 degrees out of one full circle, which is 360. And we need to multiply that fraction with the circumference of this circle here. So I need to multiply by pi, and I also need to multiply by the diameter. The diameter has not been given. Remember, this is just the radius, and the diameter would be double the radius. So 2 lots of 7 is 14, so I need to multiply by 14. Now, put that in your calculator. Don't worry about the degrees, okay? You don't need to put that in the calculator. So 36 over 360 times pi times 14, and that will give you the curved part just there. So that gives me 4.398 dot dot dot. So not forgetting, we need to add on the straight parts, these parts here, because the perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside. So there are three sides we need to add together. So we've got 7 plus 7 from earlier, the radius, and then again the radius, plus this number that you should just leave on your calculator screen for the moment. So add those 7s on, and it will give you the final perimeter, so 18.398. So I'm going to round my answer to three significant figures. So I want three digits, one, two, three, but the nine rounds that three up one to the number four. So it's 18.4. The units in this question are in centimeters because the radius has been given in centimeters. So the perimeter is also in centimeters. So that's the perimeter of a sector. I'm gonna do another harder example just now. So in this second example, I have to work out the perimeter of this sector. It's a big sector, it's almost a full circle. And I'm going to use the same method as before. So I need to know the number of degrees of this sector. Be careful, because the degrees given here aren't actually the degrees of this sector. The degrees we need are the ones inside. So we know that there are 360 degrees in a circle. So you need to subtract that 25 from 360 to work out the number of degrees. So the number of degrees inside our sector are 335. Now we can get started on finding the perimeter. And I'm gonna start by finding that big curve part there. So I need to find what fraction this sector is of a circle. So I take the number of degrees inside the sector and I write that out of 360. And it's always 360 because in a circle, a full circle, you always have 360 degrees. Now remember, you need to multiply that fraction with the formula for the circumference of a circle. Remember, circumference is C equals pi multiplied by the diameter. But the diameter, just like in the last example, it hasn't been given to us. We've been given the radius of what would be this whole circle. So the radius is here, 
and the diameter is double the radius, it's the distance all the way across the circle. So if that's 4 and that's 4, the diameter must be 8. So we have to multiply by pi and then also 8, which is the diameter. So that will give us this big curved part here, that side of the sector. Remember the perimeter is the distance all the way around the outside of the shape. So you need to add on the straight edges, just like before. So if this one's four, so is this one, because they are both the radius. The radius is four here, and it's the same length here. So that's the curved part. Don't forget to add on the straight parts. So I'm just going to write here, curved side, just so we know where that came from. And then you put it in the calculator. So remember, you don't need to put degrees in the calculator, you're just writing the fraction, 335 over 360, times by pi, times by 8. And then I'm just going to go straight into adding 4 and adding another 4. So I'm not rounding throughout the question, I'm keeping this in, in its exact form. So plus 4 plus 4 gives me... 31.387 and again round to three significant figures so the eight rounds that three up to four so the final answer the total perimeter of this sector here is 31.4 centimeters okay so that's perimeter of sectors